Okay, miniature Tesla coil. Thought this would be an interesting project. It's a little tiny Tesla coil from, I believe I got it from Banggood in China. Bought this myself for about six dollars. Um, it's got a IRF 530 MOSFET that drives a TIP41 MPN power transistor which drives the uh, the Tesla coil. You can't see it here, but there's a, a capacitive coupling between these two coils. Um, you're supposed to wrap the wire from L1 around the uh, L2 coil, which is the Tesla coil. So this is to be a pretty quick, easy build. Here's the bag of parts. Of course, everything's in Chinese, but We've got the uh, pretty good documentation here in this uh, leaflet, and then everything, all the components here are uh, etched into the board, so it should be possible to figure it out. It's a good idea to check things, given the source of these parts. That's supposed to be one microfarad. That's better. I had another one of these on hand. Okay, so far I've got uh, everything in except the LEDs and the coil and the transistors. Note for the transistors, be sure that you pay attention to the types. There are two different types of transistors. It will not work if you reverse them. For those of you that were curious, here's what's getting fed into the uh, Tesla coil. It's a triangle wave. That's what's coming off the... TIP41 transistor. Here's a look at the Corona coming off the tip of the mini Tesla coil. It's probably a few millimeters high. Here's lighting a CFL bulb with it. Here's a large neon bulb with a uh, cupid inside of it. And uh, it's not that bright as it is on camera. It's probably half as bright, but it looks pretty impressive there with all of the uh, neon gas molecules, gas atoms emitting light. He's really coated in... Uh, <laughs> and energy there and then there's also sort of a purplish hue that comes off the bottom of it So this is the Tesla coil with an audio source plugged in. I've got a Bluetooth receiver over here. It can be sacrificed if necessary. It's not very loud. I was wondering if the sound is the corona moving this air molecules or if the coil itself is maybe vibrating. It's supposed to be the corona doing that. We'll see if we can get a copyright uh, detection off of that. That might be a first. So overall, yeah, I think the kit's worth playing around with for five bucks. These uh, transistors get super hot. You don't want to run it for a really long time because uh, they do heat up and those heat sinks are not adequate. 